right. So I don't want to waste people's time that much since um, if you're new to the group, I will share. So, um, so there's the white paper that we're essentially working on, uh, which is basically trying to explain uh, chaos engineering for a specific audience. I will post the link here in the chat. So we're basically looking for community feedback. I'll send an email to the whole mailing list after this too. So we're looking for feedback on uh, the white paper essentially. Um, so I pasted a link in the Zoom chat. So basically it's an overview kind of, of the practice of chaos engineering, what tools are out there and available. So trying to um, you know, index them in a way that makes sense to an outside reader. Uh, so we would love uh, feedback uh, on that. I uh, am also looking for volunteers to present um, at the uh, kind of one of our conferences coming up in December. So, but I'll make that call over email. Um, other than that, like uh, we're also working on a uh, cloud native landscape uh, that features chaos engineering. So um, if there are tools out there, um, we'd love to have them featured. I'm trying to go get the link in front of you once I find it. So right now, these are this is kind of a short list of tools that we have available, but we're looking for essentially more additions and feedback um, on, on that one. So there's definitely a lot more than just four tools and services for chaos engineering. So we'd love to get your feedback. Other than that, like I have nothing really else to cover outside of uh, we need to essentially get this group um, meeting uh, again with more people attending and actually getting formal, uh, you know, folks uh, presenting. So other than that, like, I have nothing else. If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I'll end the, end the meeting short. Uh, you're, you may be muted, so sorry. Uh, I was looking at the white paper just before yep. the um, just before the call, I was yep. going to, I've actually not finished the whole thing. I've reached okay. the terminology section. So okay. one, one interesting question that we were prop and probably just came in because I was we were having this discussion at our workplace as well. Yep. But, uh, it's interesting that we have the term in experiment because then you define a chaos experiment, which mm -hmm. has some template or a specification in particular, like as a sci scientist who has a hypothesis would have an experiment. Correct. And then they would run certain, they'll run the experiment a few times with different yep. patterns. Correct. So what would you call a unit of an experiment run? Because each experiment run may have unique parameters, like a unique environment. Example, the same experiment you may want to promote through different, you may want to promote through different uh, environments. Yep. You want to run in your uh, active region in your dr region yeah uh, so so while experiment is interesting because it's a specification correct yeah runs are interesting because they carry a lot of important information yeah i i, I don't yeah i don't know what would be a better like term uh term for that than just generically experiment i, I get the question that you're um you're asking um i don't know I mean, one, one thought process is uh, just ask your question on the mailing list and see what people uh, feedback or um, open up an issue uh, on the white paper and uh, go from there. So I don't, uh, like, I don't have a uh, term for you, but um, we have other experts in the community that probably are a little bit better than me where I'm a more of a chaos engineering um, novice. Yeah, I think we were having the similar discussion. We couldn't come up with the right one. Yeah. It was interesting because it was so important because each yep. thing was unique. It's not, it cannot be represented by the same, ob like same, same object. Yep. It's like different instances, right? Yep. So couldn't, as I'll think through this a little before proposing a possible. Yeah. Yeah. I just, or, or, you know, you don't have to propose a term. I would just ask the question, you know, just ask a question if there's a term for this. And then um, maybe there is, or people will like say, hey, let's, let's come up with something. So but good question. Thanks. Um, yeah. So other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up over the ma uh, mailing list, kind of uh, with you know getting a volunteer for the next meeting to actually uh, present, um, get some more eyes on the white paper. Ideally, uh, you know, our goal was to 
get something in shape for, uh, there's an event in a couple of weeks in San Francisco called Chaos Conf. So we essentially would kind of want to at least say like, hey, we're have like a final draft of this. We like feedback and, and, and so on. So cool. Oh, I got a message from Nico from something, but I'll go figure out, cool. All right, uh, anything else, Nico? You, you, you want to say something or are you good? Are you, are you coming to the cons, uh, to the chaos cons? Okay, you'll be there? Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna give a quick talk about what we do with the powerful seal uh, at Bloomberg Perfect. actually. All right, cool. perfect. Yeah, looking forward to, to catch you in person. So I'll see you a couple of weeks in San Francisco. Cool. That's great. All right, uh, other than that, I will end the meeting uh, a little bit early and uh, get things a little bit more organized for next time. So cool. All right, take care, everyone. Cool. See you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.